welcome back to Art Ninjas and now um this is our third drawing tutorial and now I'm showing you how to draw a chain and an S so I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you don't know how to do it please pay attention so you know so first you start off with three lines they don't have to be big or long just have to be normal lines in like an order and then do um, three lines in the exact same place but leave a little gap and then and then you have to um, join that one create a line from that one um, to this line and then the same with this one from that one to that one so you do that and then you can do it any way you want at the top. For me, I do it like that and I do it a bit bendy. That's how I like it. But there's another way how all of you can do it. But that's the way I like. Um, so you can do the exact same again. Like I said. Oh, not quite straight one won't matter. So basically, you do the exact same thing again, but this time you just do a straight line. I'm not very good at lines, so it might not be the best, but it doesn't matter. So that's another way you can do it. So as you can see, there's just three lines on it isn't really that hard so then if you can do them so um now my hands are a bit sweaty um, now i'm going to be teaching you how to do a chain so if you do three lines again and then like i said another three lines And then another three lines. For me, I'll do five rows down the three lines. Because that's how I usually like to do it as a chain. So one, two, three, four. Five. So you've got five lines. That one's a bit slightly bigger. It not matter. So now you've got five lines. Now... What I do is I join them together like I did with the S, but you keep on doing it same, same over again. So this one joins to that one, that one joins to that one, this one joins to that one, that one joins to that one. It's the exact same process. You just keep on doing it over and over again until you get to the end. And then you can do them bendy, you can do them straight like that. But I... Like I said just now, I like them um, bendy, so this is what I do. So I've just done three lines, connected them all together. You get this line that's left, and then you do a line up into it. And then on the, on the other side, if you're doing it upwards, this time you do it downwards like this. So basically... You, it's the same pro process as the S basically, but um, this one's like a chain version. And then you can keep it like that, a straight line, but usually I just um, curve them at the top because it looks really cool. So that's what usually I do, but you can do them really other different ways. You can bend these which i really don't find that easy um like i said with this one you can do straight lines you can um do bendy lines you can do really whatever but then with this one if you do straight lines because with this one i think it looks pretty cool but with straight lines, I don't know, it might just be me, but 
I think it's a tiny bit harder myself. But but um you can do them that way if you want, but I'll try and do it straight lines. So then you know what I said with the S and that one all over again. You just do the same process like the S, but you keep on doing down. Like I said with that one, you these lines that are left, you just do a line up into that one, up into that one, up into that one, up into that one. Then on the other side, you do it down into that one, down into that line, down into that line, down into that line. Um, so then, like I said, you can do what you want with them, with the top. You can keep them straight. You can, like, do a little point at the top. It's up to you. Like I said, I personally like to do a pokey bit at the top because I just think it looks cool. So that's what I think, and that's how I do it. But there's sometimes there's different ways to do them. Like, my friends at school, I can barely do these ways, but my friends at school, they do it like this. So, um, they do that one to that one, and they do that one to that one, that one to that one, that one to that one. And it's just the exact same way, but around. So, if you think about it, that one, this side, you do these upwards, and then as you do those downwards, these lines, but it's just the exact same, but this time you're just doing them downwards on the other side, and it does look pretty cool, but, um, that isn't my personally favourite way. I find it a bit confusing, but, as I say, you can do it any way you want, but these are the, my most favourite ways. So, um, those are how you do S's. Those are how you do chains. Oh, I forgot to do that. That's going to annoy me. So, that's how you do chains and S's and that. So, now... Um, I'm going to be um, teaching you. I don't know if I said that at the beginning, but if you want to do, like, really cool words, I I found out just a way in class how I did it. I just drawn in the middle of class, and I was like, I like um, doing words like this. And then basically, um, let me just move the paper over. So, um, basically, I was like, I'll get a piece of paper and just draw a random high. So, I started off with, like, a triangle like this, no line at the bottom. And then I went down with a straight line, as long as you want. But it's going to end out like a high, so just um, keep in mind that. So, and then I did, like another triangle at the bottom but with no line and then I brought this one down and I brought this one up and then like come into the middle where I can keep a gap so then you see this gap like triangle lines down another triangle so basically that's what I started to do I was like this is gonna probably end out good and then I came over like this and then I did like this gap, so that's, uh, I'll, I'm doing it a bit longer because I don't like them really close together, um, clever, together. So, um, then we're going to do the exact same on, um, this side as that side. So we're going to do the exact same what we did on this side, but we're going to be doing it on that this side we, we're going to be doing the exact same that we did on this side basically took a bit of explaining so like i say do another line up start another triangle and then do another line down the triangle and then go to this bit and then go down 
draw a line, straight line, and then do another triangle, like that. That one's a bit bigger. I might um, I'm quickly rub that. Um, so now we've got that, and then I did this, and then you draw one straight line down. Then you got your H, but this is the bit that I kind of found tricky. But once I got the hang of it, I'm doing them in the middle of class now on my sheets of paper. So you draw a straight line where the point of it is, you draw a line down going sideways and then you got that bit so basically draw like a side and then again you draw another straight line straight down and then you go over to this side and then you do the exact same you draw another line on the point of the arrow you go down again and then you get to that bit you do another line again, and then you do a straight line down. And then you um, do another... Oh, I don't like that. Let me just rub that out. That is going to trigger me. Right, that looks a bit messy, but doesn't matter. So then you've done that, and then you do another line. And then the exact same, that. And then on this side, you do another line like that. And then you do another line like that. Let's wait. And then you do, like, another line like that. It's waiting. And then... Wait. And then you do another line upwards. And then what you do now is you slightly shade it in with all the bits that you've done. And what I did is I just go over the lines because those don't matter. That just helps me shape it. Now, you don't have to put that line, but that does just help me shape it. Now you can rub that out if it's easier for you, but I just feel like that's going to be much easier to use to actually show that it's a point. It might stand out right there, but in like the sunlight, um, it 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 will show out. But then you just slightly shade all of these in. Or all the bits that you've done. And all this, don't don't worry about it. You can colour it in with felt hair, pencil, colour in pencils, whatever you want. Shade and pencils. Or you could just leave all this white and you can colour in the actual H. But what I like to do is um shade uh, not shave, um shade the sides the sides because to me it just looks really cool. You don't have to like get every white bit and all that. It will still stand out. Now, what I have been thinking, I've been trying this ever since I started these H's, is um, so basically, ever since I started them, I have been wondering if I do a line up here. But I'm... Um, I'm kind of doing it from this direction, looking towards it. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I do with it. But to me at the moment, it's pretty cool. <sighs> so after, you might be able to go over these, um, these um, S's or chains with pen, but um, the H in pen doesn't look that good.
because you have to shade it in and all that and then it just doesn't look good so just sharpen my pencil um so basically now we're going to be moving on to the eye so the eye is like the most hard bit i find so i think my lead's gonna stop now so um basically you do the exact same pretend that line wasn't there and then you do the exact same so now you just do leave a bit of room about just go up to here and then do another triangle but without a line but this one is an, an upside down triangle but without a line at the bottom or the top and then go up and draw another straight line up Wait, let me just, that is going to annoy me. so basically and then draw another straight line on this side try and keep it straight don't make it end out like mine because um mine don't have straight lines um so now you draw on that line like i say draw another and then i'll do the dot at the end which is the like most hardest bit i find because um um like we're doing like a 3d version and the dot on the eye it's like a hexagon um but i find it really hard i'm i might try soon i might try it with a um triangle maybe it might end out good but now like we did on that we do another line right here and then we do another line right down and then we do another line like i say you don't have to do the line but for me it helps so then you um do another straight line down try and keep it straight because it will end out rubbish like mine so you keep on going straight until you get like the when it starts going into a triangle like i say do another line there and then go down again and then you got that you got the whatever you got this and the dot of the eye I might not be able to fit this in, but the dot of the eye is the hardest. So basically, you do a... No, I'm not going to fit this in. I'll try. So you do a line, a sideways line. You do another. And then you do another straight line across. Then you do another upwards. Then you do another like that. I think it's a hexagon. Is it a hexagon? Yeah, I think it's a hexagon. So, um, basically, we got that now. Um, right. So now we got that. We um, do a line here. Now, this is the most trickiest bit I find in the whole thing. The H I find okay. The actual line for the high I find okay. But the dot of the eye is my enemy so that's what i do and then that doesn't even look right to me right now um you try it like that well it looks pretty all right i haven't tried that before well now what i do is shade that in we're going to be coming to shading the line of the eye in a minute so then i shade that in and that's almost well, that's just what I do. Now, to me, it doesn't really look right. Just the eye just doesn't look right to me. But now we're going to come to shade this. Now, because my name begins with an S, it's um, the S is quite hard to do. But... Um, um, all the letters in my name are pretty easy to do. You've got the E, you've got the N, and you've got the S. Those are all the letters in my name. E's, N's, and one S. 
So you've got to keep on shaving this in. Now, what you do to your H and your I is you press down a bit harder so you can see a dark outline. And then what you do is you, well, it looks good. You draw a line where your um when you get your spike for your eye at the bottom and then you do that and you like press down a bit hard so you can actually see it can't see it on the camera so then you have to like just outline it keep on outlining because it will look pretty good at the end and then outline this, even though it doesn't look good for me. I bet yours is just going to look better than mine if you're actually doing it. But, um, yeah, it's probably going to end up better than mine. But I'm just showing you guys how to do it, if you know. And then, same on this side, just outline it. Now, from the camera's view, it might look a bit thick and big, but from my view, it's kind of like slim. It's about, I don't know, that thick. Just, um, basically now, we do the exact same to the H. So, we press down hard, and we outline this. You don't have to do it the exact same order that I'm doing right now if you're actually doing the H and the I. You don't have to do it the exact same order, like I just said. Um, you can do it when you want. You can start from the H, you can start from the I. Um, so basically, when I say you come to that, you can see there's like a straight line and then it goes in, it goes straight into a sideways line. So when it goes to that, do a straight line like there, and then go up one, that, and then now what? Right. No, you can't. Yeah, a bit better. Um. So basically, yeah, you can see that line now. Um. So now, um, I don't know what, I don't know what that. now you just, like I say, just outline all. If you have watched the other videos, um, those were my um, friends. Uh, well, my friend, he um, he's a really good artist, um, but he had to like rush them because he didn't have much time. So um, I hope you got some good drawings out of his. But he had to go because he only comes over mine for about an hour or two um so basically it might be me doing a few videos from now you might see him in a week but as you know our name is the art ninjas so um basically it's us my my friend that did the art earlier is called oscar um 